Okay. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so I'm still at it, but I got to thinking because I'm like totally not happy with specs. And lately it's like, it seems like I'm you, when I use the two parts for ultra, was happened a long time. And I'm sick of it. The two parts flow tall with one part of the artist loft white flow and then a little bit of water to thin it down. So it's just always specking up. Sure, it gives you some cool effects, but the way what paints I use apparently is just not making me happy. So what I try here is a little different on the pinks because this the same as my last video three cup flip cup but this is a mixture of pinks too okay this is not just straight deep magenta but there there's no silicone in any of the paints and then i have my teal that uh amsterdam Greenish blue mixed with just a little bit of blue, regular phthalo blue, because I put it in there. And I didn't feel like making that more paint just to do an experiment. And then violets. Okay. So what I did was I took some glue all. Because I don't have a big jug of it. And I'm thinking, well, I'm going to just wow. experiment. And I took one part. Well, my friend told me, Carrie... 70% but I already kind of started doing it on my own so I couldn't take out the glue <laughs> anyway I did one part of the glue all one part flow troll and one part artist loft white flow and I didn't even have to add water because it looks good to me you know it may have a little bit more glue all in it. I mean, just about a tablespoon or more. So I'm looking at one part each with no water. Uh, so we'll see. Let's see what happens if I don't get some specs. Now, this was an old canvas. It was kind of cool, but mm, specky. <laughs> so let's see what happens. We'll do it in the same order I did before. I think I did the magentas first. Pinks. I don't know. Well, I don't think it'll make a difference because that's a lot. Like I said, I'm just experimenting on the white. I want to see what the white does. So I don't have to do it the same as the last video. Okay, now the white. And I will take it easier on the white than I did last one too. See, it seems just the same consistency. No water at all. But I am gonna put quite a bit there in one shot there. Okay. Then what did I do? I did purple or violet. And this is smaller canvas. It's an 11 by 14. So. And this has got a little blue. And it's still the same color. So, need about. Uh, oh, five ounces, six ounces. We'll go six and a half. I am going to put a little bit more white. Just like I did before to see what happens just out of experimenting to see what this white does if it's got too much all right <laughs> I'm determined to get a recipe for that white anybody knows let me know yeah this is smaller might look crunched but might as well use an old canvas just in case because I'm experimenting. So I'll let that settle down a bit. 
Okay, so I've been told that, you know, you could try a different medium besides Floetrol, but, well, I can't afford the real expensive Liquitex and stuff. So glue all would be my next choice, and that's why I'm trying it. And then also, I've been told that Craft Smart, and I love Craft Smart. So I'm going to try that too. And I do have Craft Smart White, but see, the thing is, is I have like, three big bottles of the artist loft flow white that i want to use you know but i think it's just because it's so much flow troll in there and then you know 20 percent water well let's just see what this one does <laughs> watch it just totally like be totally different Excuse my sons, they're playing their game. They just bought a new game. So I did use a lot of white, but purposely to see what it was gonna do here. Whether it was gonna be specky or selly or lacy or what. Let's see the difference. It looks pretty cool in the cup. <laughs> now, just a test to see you know what? It's not specking with the torch. That's cool. Right on. <laughs> I think that water has a lot to do with it, too. This one might be really cool. <laughs> Glue always has that different feel. And you know, I just never stepped outside and said, you know what, let's go. Well, I have tried the glue all. Look at that's cool. And it's not specky. Like I said, I'm not being perfectionist here. I'm just should have tilted that more down, but that's okay. I can stretch that. Okay. I don't like that pink too. Okay. This looking really cool, ain't it? No specs. Oh, this is neat. I may have found an answer here with my three big, huge bottles. Right on. So that's kind of neat. It sure gives lacing. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about the composition of it, but uh, let me see what I would want to do with this. Better do it now. Yeah, I like this over here, so bring that blue up more on the bottom. I said I'm not gonna go too much with this because I don't want to stretch out what's happening. Well, that's kind of neat. What a big difference, hey? Yeah, I know I'm probably going to bring back to the middle, that's all. All right. Pretty cool, I would say. I like this one better than the other one. Now, let's see what the torch does, because that's where it always tells me. I can't ever even torch. Oh, look at this. No specs. Right on. 
I think I found what I like. And it's even bringing, drawing out some cells too from the other colors. That's neat. So I'm going to let this set and then we'll check it out. Okay, so I'm really happy because, yeah, I got three bottles of that stuff and I'm just like not liking it at all lately. Well, I haven't for a long time, but I just stuck with it, you know, because it really does give you some cool effects sometimes, but I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I, had, I had it with it and I like white. I like black too, but this is awesome. But the effects, this lacing is the bomb. The colors are super bright. So this, I love this one like 80% better than the other. I don't even care for that last one. So I, I love this. This is super cool. And it may still keep on growing because it's only been a couple minutes. Oh, it's sticking because of the glow. I got to get me some glue all now and a jug of Floetrol. But now I won't go through so much. Look at this. Floetrol alone. And I didn't even add water to this. And this is my first attempt to see if I could get rid of the specks. And look at that. See, I can blow right there and nothing pops up. And that's usually what's been happening. That's cool. So that's awesome, man. Which way do I like it? Yeah, I like it. That that is so pretty. I'm really thrilled. Look at all this in there. What a trip! Oh, and my other paints just was two parts Floetrol, one part paint. No glue, all in that. Only the white. So again, the white was just one part Floetrol, one part glue all, and one part Artist Lock white. And that's what I got. <laughs> it's the bomb. Alrighty. So I thought I'd share my experimenting with you, and it seemed to work out really awesome. This is super neat. Reminds me of lightning strikes in there. That's just super cool. Look at that. Very awesome. Well, I'm thrilled. I'm not going to switch to anything. The only thing I have to do now is order a big jug of the glue all. And I'm running out of flow trial, so. All right. Well, thank you for sharing your time with me with me experimenting this. So yeah, this is a big difference than what I normally do. And I'm gonna keep doing this for now. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.